Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Muneeb Hamid with the headlines of this hour. Azerbaijan says three civilians have been killed and as many wounded in Armenia's attack on Tartar city. Foreign Policy Affairs Head Hikmet Hajiyev said Azerbaijan reserves sovereign rights to protect its civ civ civilians. I beg your pardon. Earlier, Russia and Turkey called on both sides to observe the ceasefire in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Nearly 600 people have been killed in the conflict since it broke out on the 27th of September. Pakistan has summoned a senior Indian diplomat to register its protests over ceasefire violations along the line of control. Foreign Office says two civilians were wounded by unprovoked Indian firing in the Barmoch village in Jandrot sector. It says 19 civilians have been martyred and 197 wounded in over 2,500 ceasefire violations so far this year. China says the United States is seriously undermining peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. China's Eastern Theater Command said its forces will resolutely defend the country's territorial integrity. This comes after a U.S. Navy destroyer sailed through the waters amid escalating tensions between Beijing and Taipei. Kyrgyz President Soronbai Janbikov has resigned after days of protests over disputed parliamentary elections. In a statement, Janbikov said he wanted to prevent clashes between the security forces and protesters. Janbikov said he did not want to go down in Kyrgyzstan's history as a president who shot at his own citizens. India has reported 680 COVID-19 deaths and nearly 68,000 infections overnight. India's death toll has surpassed 111,000 with the caseload crossing 7.3 million. Here in Pakistan, 13 people have died of the coronavirus overnight, taking the toll to 6,614. Globally, COVID-19 has claimed more than 1,092,000 lives and infected over 38.4 million people so far. Well, that's all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news.